Today on the channel from WWE Mattel Ultimate Edition line, we've got the brand new Ultimate Edition, Randy Orton. The spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! Back to the channel for another WWE Ultimate Edition unboxing and review. And today on the channel, we've got Randy Orton. But for all your Mattel wrestling figure needs and a whole lot more, make sure you're hitting up Ringside Collectibles. Use discount code KYLE. Save yourself 10%. And Randy Orton, an all-timer in the WWE as we do know, gets his first Ultimate Edition figure here in 2023. What a time to be alive for old Randy Orton. Currently, Randy Orton on the shelf hasn't wrestled at all in 2023, I believe. I think he's been out the whole year and even some of 2022. We'll see what happens when he comes back to wrestling. Hopefully, maybe sometime this year. We'll see what happens with that one. But, of course, we're going to do this unboxing like we do all the other unboxings on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. And Randy Orton is an interesting one. Now, this is part of the main line release, so you'll be able to get this everywhere. This isn't a Target exclusive. It's not a Walmart exclusive, anything like that. Like I said, head over to Ringside Collectibles if you're looking for that one. Now, Randy Orton, like I said at the beginning, a character, a superstar that's been around for a heck of a long time. But I wouldn't say the most toyetic, as they say in the business, as he's a little bit plain Jane. Obviously, he's got tattoos. He's got the tattoos going on. But just basically a guy in trunks for the most part outside of his tattoos. And there's not a ton of meat on the bone with this one. I know a lot of people have been complaining, saying we needed a little bit more. We should have had different era heads, things like that. Well, you take that business step back. They want to represent Randy Orton for a moment in time. And it looks like the RK Bro moment in time. We'll just comparisons later in this video. They want to represent that because guess what? A year from now, two years from now, they want to put out an Ultimate Edition Randy Orton from, you know, 2004. They want to put out a rookie Ultimate Edition Randy Orton down the line as well. So Mattel, as the usual, wearing their business hat and by no means do we ever want to forget that it is a business. It's a business out there. They're not going to give us the ultimate uh, Randy Orton, even though it should be the ultimate, this Ultimate Edition. Give us the ultimate one with three different era heads and maybe things like that. Just probably never going to be on the cards, unfortunately. But it is what it is, and we just got to know that kind of going into these things. But let's take a look at the packaging on this. Of course, usual Ultimate Edition packaging. You got that red background, shoebox-style packaging going on. Three total heads on Randy Orton. Looks like we get a little hoodie, some hands, and then, of course, a tag team title belt with him as well. So I'm happy at least we got a belt. I always do feel an Ultimate Edition should pretty much, 99% of the time, should come with a belt of some kind. This one does come with a tag team title belt. Here's old Randy on the side, flexing that belt over there, WWE logo at the top. Randy Orton on the side there, and then on the back, of course, you got the glamour shot of the action figure, glamour shot of the character, you got the tail of the tape, you got the blurb, you got a lot of fun. Let's see what it says about our friend Randy Orton. Height six foot five from St. Louis, Missouri. Beautiful this time of year. Head on to St. Louis, grab yourself an Emo's pizza, and man, all is right with the world. Finisher of the old RKO, career highlight WWE champion. A third-generation superstar with once-in-a-lifetime talent, Randy Orton earned every nickname ever bestowed upon him. The apex predator is on top of the food chain. He strikes quick as a viper. His deadliest weapons, however, are three simple letters. R-K-O. So there you go, R-K-O. Wasn't that a movie studio back in the day, too? R-K-O Pictures? I think so. Oh, my minor in film showing through. There it is right there. The Viper Strikes. It sure does. It sure does. And then on this side, the three most dangerous letters in the alphabet, RKO. So it says that on the side there. Always some nice little Easter eggs over there. I'm always here for those. Always here for an Easter egg. I uh, love a good Easter egg, especially around Easter when the Easter hunt's on. See you later. Goodbye. All right. We're going to go into Randy Orton here. What do we got going on? There it is. Like I said, we already described kind of the stuff that's in here. Got to get the old scissors out as he's locked in at the hand. Locked in at the other hand. Locked in at both boots. Oh my gosh, they don't want that slithery snake going anywhere. They don't want that viper sneaking out. 
Who knows? And I'm waiting for the day they do a G.I. Joe crossover line with uh, the WWE. Uh, maybe he could be uh, one of the Cobra people. See you later. Goodbye off the screen. He could uh, join up with Cobra, being a Viper and all. Maybe. Who knows? Or maybe he could be the Window Wiper. Oh, the Window Wiper? You know what I did there if you know your G.I. Joe stuff. Uh, we'll see what happens in the future with crossovers. You know how it goes. If there's money to be made, these companies will do it. See you later. Goodbye. All right, let's get these twist ties out of here, these clips out of here, and let's break down these accessories. Then we're going to dive into the figure and the heads and all that kind of fun stuff. So, Randy, sit over to the side right there for now, and let's dive into the hands. So, we do get two gripping hands out of the package. We do get two fists of fury for Randy Orton. You guys know the fists are so important to me, and I got two fists right there. I'm here for that all day long. And then you got to have these, especially with Randy Orton. You got the mystical, magical hands right there. He's going to give one of those things going on. So, we've seen him do that. One of his uh, patented signature poses, we get those here. And, of course, you got the black tape all over the hands on all, all of the hands here. So we got all that going on. Now we get the tag team title belt, a very nice tag team title belt. Very shiny, very shiny belt as well. Got the red strap here, of course, the raw tag team title belt at the time. Of course, he did hold this with Matt Riddle, as we do know. So we've seen these before, but always good to get a title belt with these figures, like I always do say. Then we get a soft goods hoodie. You know me, I'm a sucker for soft goods. Love a good soft goods hoodie. And it's got uh, RKO Riddle on the back. It even says Riddle on the bottom there. RK Bro, of course, looking good. So definitely cool to get a hoodie. And I always think of Randy Orton, especially in uh, the last time we saw him, he was always wearing a hoodie like this. Had the hoodie on top, but no uh, sleeves on the hoodie. So very on brand, very on point for Randy Orton. Definitely going to use this to display him. Is this really uh, ultimates him up, I guess, when you put the tag title belt with him and you put the hoodie with that? I think that does work out pretty well. Now we get a little bit of plain Jane-ness here with Randy Orton, but let's look at these head sculpts here first. We're going to look at this first head that comes out of there. He looks awfully sleepy. He looks like a guy with some tired eyes going on. That's kind of how he looks to me. I do got a little excess white paint kind of on his cheek. I'm going to have to clean that up a little bit. I always feel like Ultimate Editions always have a little extra paint on the face that I have to clean up. I don't know. Maybe it's just uh, luck of the draw for me. I don't know exactly what. But he does have his famous Randy Orton painter's goatee on. It looks like he's going to do a Van Gogh painting or something. Of course, like any human, he has two ears and a nose. Looking good there. Kind of the buzzed haircut going on for Randy there. Just a very stoic look. A sleepy look. A disappointed look in some ways he's got going on there. Now the second head I grab here. Once again, got a little extra paint on the forehead. I'd have to clean up that a little bit. But he does got the open mouth going on, got the tongue showing, got the same painter's goatee going there as well. Uh, just interesting. Definitely a lot more personality in this one than some of the other ones there. Same hairdo, same everything, but different. Different is what that one is. Then the third head here. Oh, man, there's not a lot of difference between the first and third head right here. Very, very similar heads. You know, I feel like if you're going to get three heads in there, you got to make them all be totally different. Put a big smile on this one or a big frown or something, but not a ton of difference from the first head that we got. I think I prefer this one just a little bit more over that first head. As, I don't know, maybe it's just my eyes, but this one seems a little bit bigger and this head seems a little bit smaller. Could just be my eyes, but I'll probably use this third head. We'll see, we'll see, but... Uh, definitely three interesting heads. Would have liked to have one with a little bit more personality. We got one with the tongue sticking out or the mouth open, but if we got three heads, let's make them all as different as we possibly could. That's just my opinion there. Now we look at Randy Orton. Like I said, the tattoos are his most striking thing because you're just a guy in black trunks basically at the end of the day, but you got all of his patented tattoos all the way up and down on both sleeves on his arm around the back as well. Looking good. Even got that tattoo underneath his pec, his left pec there. So we have that going on. Uh, black tights, it's black on black tights. We do got some decor on there, RKO, uh, kind of those wings going on, but they are in black. And man, you got to really look for those. You got to look for them because they really do blend in there. Two plain black knee pads, black boots, pretty plain Jane on this one. Black wrist tape, black on the hands as well. Uh, but you know, I have to imagine the reason this one is so decor down because his wave mate, stable mate in this set was supposed to be the Macho Man WrestleMania 7 edition. Obviously, there's probably a budget for a series. Macho Man blowing that budget out of the water. Who can we put as a low deco second? Well, Randy Orton probably works for that. So that's kind of my guess how that ended up going. Of course, Macho Man canceled for now. I truly do believe those are all sitting there ready to go. And the minute they get Macho Man back, and I think it'll happen, there's too much money on the table at the end of the day. 
We did a video on it. There's always negotiations on both sides. But at the end of the day, Mattel and the Macho Man Estate, they're going to make the most money, at least action figures and stuff, together. Not for these outside companies. Nothing against all the other companies that are putting Macho Man stuff out. Mattel's going to make you a lot more money at the end of the day. There's no doubt about it. So I do think they'll come back, and I do think we'll see that Macho Man. Hey, it was delayed. Here it is, February 2024. We're releasing this Macho Man. I would not be shocked to see that happen. So I guess we'll stay tuned uh, in the future there. But I think that's why we got such a low low uh, deco character, I don't know, whatever you want to call it, low, low accessories character in Randy Orton because he was paired up with the Macho Man who has very high accessories. That has to be the thing. has to be the thing there. Let's walk through the articulation here, of course. Arms go all the way around. You got the bicep cut. Double jointed, pinless elbows, playing all the hits. Hands back and forth, side to side, hands removable, as we do know. Got those butterfly shoulders, always here for that. Hula hoop at the top, traditional waist as well. Get those big old Randy Orton splits if he needs to jump over Matt Riddle and they're playing a game of leapfrog on the back. He can easily do that. Then you do get the drop down hips as well that we're getting more and more used to every day, I guess. Thigh cut, double jointed knees, not pinless, but they are double jointed knees. We're here for that as well. Got the boot cut, ankles back, four side to side. Then you got that patented toe, Todd McFarlane toe articulation. We're here for that all day long. And of course, I assume he will fit on a Mattel ringside collectible stand. Use discount code Kyle. Save yourself 10% at ringside collectibles. And of course, stands out of stock currently as I'm filming this. They should be in stock though fairly soon. And as I always say, I always load up for the year during the holiday sales. I buy like 25 packs of stands at the end of the year. You save some money, load you up, kind of figure what your plan is for the year. And you are truly off to the races. But really do like the looks of this one. Of course, we got the hoodie. The hoodie, very easy to put on him there. Uh, Randy Orton really adopted this uh, sleeveless hoodie thing going on Def definitely a good look for him definitely a way to uh ultimate this one up i guess you would say as i keep going back to it but it is a very very plain jane ultimate as far as ultimates go but i think we gotta get used to that as we got a lot more ultimates coming ultimate line has really taken off over the last couple of years and now we're getting three ultimates in a wave we got bobby lashley coming up very similar to this one not a lot of bells and whistles with a bobby lashley but we're going to get an ultimate edition of him and i think a lot of other characters we will get Ultimate Editions of. It's being very, very difficult to be a two-up member of the Ultimate Club, buying one to open, buying one to keep on card. It's getting expensive, and it's running out of room. You know, when it was just supposed to be, you know, six figures a year, something like that, it's a nice, fun, manageable collection. But now when you're getting, you know, 30 a year, getting a little bit hard to display all that kind of stuff. So we'll see what happens. I hate to dive out of the Double Up Club, but, man, it's getting dangerously close. Closer every single day. We'll see what happens. But I'm all in on a loose collection, as you see here with this Randy Orton. But not too bad, not too shabby, uh, this Randy Orton right here. Of course, I did grab my boy Riddle. Love me some Matt Riddle going back to his uh, MMA days, of course. But you can kind of pair these guys up. Even though this isn't an Ultimate Edition, I would assume eventually we will get an Ultimate Edition uh, Matt Riddle figure. I have to think they'll put the scooter in a shirt maybe a different shirt a different hat things like that all the different hands usual suspects gotta get the flip flops with him as well have to imagine 2024 he might be a one of the current edition ultimate editions i could see that happening but uh rk bro rides again here at the table with the ultimate edition randy orton and the elite matt riddle or top picks matt riddle i guess depending which one you bought so there it is what are your guys' thoughts you picking up this randy orton playing the long game passing let me know in the comments down below. Of course, you made it this far. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bell as we got videos every single day. And then some. We've got even more content, including early access to videos like this, over on the Patreon channel. Patreon, your best way to support this channel and all the content it does bring. You can also support the channel at ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. And don't forget social media, SirPaul64 on X. The former Twitter, of course, or the, the new Twitter. There you go. And then uh, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on Instagram and threads as well. So for RK Bro, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.